Branch Cache is one of the better together technologies with Windows 7 and Windows Server 2008 R2. And it's essentially designed to handle those locations where you maybe have 5, 10, 50, 100 users that have generally slow, high latency connectivity back to the corporate data centers. Locations where they want to get access from the corporate resources, but it's very slow. And traditionally, each user has to download the same data and each user gets that very poor experience. Branch Cache is designed to say, well, once one user downloads the data at a location, they will actually be very kind and generous and share it out to the other users in that location. So I've got a basic test environment set up here, two virtual machines in the same subnet, and I'm emulating a very slow network connection back to the corporate resources. And all I'm gonna do is on one of the servers, I'm going to download, so one of the clients, I'm going to download this very important presentation. And we're going to see it takes a very long time. So I click it. Yes, open. And it's chugging away. And I've actually got some performance counters as well, just so we can see what it's doing internally. And it's saying, look, well, Here's the data I'm fetching from the server because none of it was available in the cache on my own machine or any other machine on the network. So it's having to go and very slowly download that. And this other client has a similarly slow connection. If I try and download something else from the same web server, it's got the same very, very poor experience. So I'll stop that. So this is nearly finished, it's nearly open. And this is not a huge file, it's two megabytes. And this is fairly typical of the experience we see at these remote locations. We can see all the performance counters of what's going on. Fantastic, and now it's actually using App V to run PowerPoint, so it's not even installed locally on this box. And my very important presentation is here. Really, we need to understand just how cute kittens are. And as equally cute as kittens are, humans are not. So now let's try and access that same file on the other machine. And if I actually go and look at my branch cache on the machine that did download the file, it now has that file in its branch cache, which means it can go and share it out to other clients in the same subnet. So now over here, and just there's no smoke and mirrors. It's not in my branch cache. Um, there's nothing in my cache or anything else. And I'm going to click that same very important presentation. It's launching PowerPoint and it's there. That's what Branch Cache does. And if I actually go and look at my performance counters, you can actually see, hey, the amount I actually fetched from Branch Cache was pretty much the whole file. The only data I got from the server was the hash values that let me know which data it is I need to download. If I jump back to the other box, we can actually see it served that file from its branch cache to that other client. So those values match through. And that's exactly what branch cache is there to do. One user downloads the data to a location, all the user location can then take advantage of it. This isn't just HTTP, it could be HTTPS, it could be SMB, uh, anything can actually take advantage of the branch cache API. And that's Branch Cash. Thank you.